Hi, this is Stephanie from Keeper of the Home and we're back with part three of the Cook More Real Food event. And today is meal planning day. So um, I'm going to bring you into my kitchen and I'm gonna give you a glimpse into how I um, take a quick inventory of my fridge. It's not gonna be the same as what we did for the pantry and freezer. It's gonna be a much faster process. We're not gonna go through everything. We're not gonna do a bunch of cleaning, um, but we're just gonna get a quick idea of what we've got. Um, and then you're going to see how I do my meal planning. This time I'm going to be planning for a whole month. That's because we're moving soon and we're really busy right now. And I just want to have it done and not have to think about it. You might be content to just plan for only a week and that would be perfectly acceptable as well. The point is just to plan something. Um, especially if you've never done any planning before, then this is a great chance to start. And then after I get my meal planning done, I'm going to use that to, uh, to do a bit of grocery shopping, uh, planning. I'm going to write out my list, write out my co-op order, and I'll give you a little look at that. And then I'm also going to make some plans for the um, freezer cooking days that uh, I will be hosting on Keeper of the Home next Monday and Tuesday. So um, just need to do a little bit of preparation, figure out uh, what kind of dishes, um, what foods I'm going to be making, what I want to put into my freezer, and of course what groceries I'm going to need to be able to do that. So let's get started. Okay, time to take a look in my fridge. Um, before I start that, I'm going to just show you quickly. Um, this is a fridge inventory that I'm going to use, but it's actually not something I usually use. Um, usually when I do my fridge inventories, I just grab a piece of scrap paper from the recycle bin and I scroll a quick list. But um, I'm gonna use this just to show you uh, what it could look like. So let's open up my fridge here. It's really, I really don't have very much food right now. Um, I mean, I've got lots of, you know, this sort of stuff, um, but I really don't have a lot of true food that I can make meals with, but um, I've got some eggs. I've also got some eggs down in my uh, garage, and then um, and then I'm going to record the vegetables I've got in here so I can see that I've got a head of cabbage that looks like about half a pack of carrots. There's a bit of cauliflower and broccoli there. So there's a little bit of stuff, um, a few oranges and apples. Uh, some sauerkraut, spinach, a little bit of lettuce. Um, so there's a little bit in my fridge. Um, what I'm going to be writing down are the things that will actually make it meal. So that would be the things like my vegetables, especially um, things that are gonna go bad. I wanna make sure that I record, like my eggs. Um, this is what I'm not gonna record, all of these. Um, it's great that I have, you know, tamari sauce and mustard and my daughter's right behind me, my apple cider vinegar. Um, those things I'm not gonna record. I'm just gonna record sort of the basic um, meal making ingredients and um, and then that's it. Hi Abby! <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Hi. Abby wants to show you my completed fridge inventory, right Abby? Yes. There's not very much on it. Basically I wrote down um, a bit of butter, the eggs that I have, I have a teeny little bit of milk, um, I wrote down all of the produce that I have and, um, and then I also, I forgot to mention, um, go into your pantry and see um, if you have, you know, potatoes, onions, whatever kind of um, produce you keep in your pantry. So, um, and that was about it. Those were the only things I actually had to put towards meals. So, thank you, Abby, for showing everybody. Fantastic job. Say bye. Bye. Okay, I just want to give you a look into my process right now. I'm working on my monthly meal plan. So, this is what I'm working on for June. Um, right now I'm on my computer using a program called Plan to Eat, which I'm actually going to be reviewing and there will be a giveaway on my blog on Friday um, for a membership from Plan to Eat, so you can look forward to that. But um, here's what I'm doing. I'm, uh, I'm just planning out all of my breakfasts and dinners. Personally, I don't like to plan my lunch, um, lunch menu because I like to do it based on what we have to use up leftovers and stuff like that. So I've planned out um, a breakfast schedule. Um, for the week and then what I did was I just copied that breakfast schedule and added it straight to um, to every week in June so I don't have to think about breakfast that's really easy for me it'll make shopping easy too um, and now what I'm doing is I'm starting to um, make my dinners and I'm doing them based on uh, the produce that I found I had in my fridge so before I go shopping for new produce I'm trying to use up what I already have so um, for instance here I'm doing, tonight I'm doing lentil rice casserole and I'm doing it with steamed broccoli and cauliflower because I have half a head of both broccoli and cauliflower so I need to get those used up quickly. Then tomorrow we're doing birox, uh, that's probably a really bad pronunciation, um, but they're basically um, beef and cabbage pockets because I had a head of green cabbage that um, is looking a little sad so it needs to be used up as well. And then 
Here I'm doing um, something that was in my freezer and I'm just going to add a few other things that I have to it. Um, then I noticed I had a bunch of sweet potatoes, so we're going to do sweet potato burritos. Um, also using up some uh, corn tortillas that I have in the freezer. And, um, and then another thing that I found in my freezer inventory was that I already had some rib sauce in the freezer, so we're going to have uh, crock pot barbecue beef ribs that night along with um, the rest of the sweet potatoes. And by then I'll have gone shopping, so we'll have some fresh asparagus. Uh, here we're doing pasta with meatballs. Well, the meatballs we already had in the freezer. The pasta is in my pantry. And so then I'll just have to make the tomato sauce to go with it. So um, so you can see how I'm, I'm using this, my just, you know, quick and, and simple fridge inventory, but how that is making the basis of my meals for this first week. Whoops. There it goes. Um, and then once I get into the second week, um, then I'm going to be starting to work with uh, other things that that I will have bought. Um, I am um, I'm adding in fresh peas here because I'm going to have fresh peas in my garden by then, so I want to make sure that I'm using that up. I do need to use the last of my beets, and um, I'm really just trying to stick with things that I already have to to keep it simple for me. Um, here's another tool. Oh, Abby wanted to say hi to you again. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> um, I've also got um, my 21 meals list that I'm using as a reference. I have a lot of my meals stored in my plan to eat um, account, but I don't have all of them. So I'm just looking at my 21 meals list. It's sort of the, um, the 21 meals that our family eats the most regularly, and that is helping me to make my meal plans as well. So these are just some of the ways that I'm making this a faster and simpler process. So my meal plan is finished now, all the way up into early July. Uh, I went into early July just a little bit because I uh, I wanted to plan for our move, which is happening around the end of June. So um, as I was finishing that up, what I did was I used um, my freezer inventory and my fridge inventory and my pantry inventory as well. And you can see that a lot of things are crossed off. And that's um, because those are things that I've been trying to incorporate into my meal plan. So as I planned a meal that worked with something, I just crossed it off. And that way I know that I'm putting all of those things to good use. Um, I also made my freezer cooking plan. So this is for next Monday and Tuesday. So I've got, I don't know what I was thinking, trying to make lasagna since we're uh, dairy free at the moment. <laughs> I can't think of any way to make a cheeseless lasagna. <laughs> Um, so anyways, I've listed some of the meals that I would like to make, uh, burritos, chili, hummus, spaghetti sauce, uh, chicken sausages, samosas, shepherd's pie, and then I've also got some meal components, so, um, some soaked and cooked beans that I'll freeze in small portions, broth, pizza dough and sauce, some freezer hash browns and, uh, already seasoned and cooked taco meat, and then I'm also going to make a huge batch of granola some uh, gluten-free bread and regular bread, as well as a bunch of pumpkin muffins for breakfast. And um, as I was making that freezer cooking plan, I, um, I incorporated those meals into my meal plan. So, um, so now towards the end of the month, you can see there's a shepherd's pie in there. There's uh, a meal with uh, tomato sauce. There's soft tacos using the taco meat that I'll be making. And um, I kept this open the whole time. This is my grocery checklist. So. Um, whenever I thought of something that I needed for my freezer cooking or just for my meal plan in general, I just made a note of it, checked it off, and uh, now my freezer, or sorry, now my grocery shopping list is going to come together pretty quickly. So I know that this part of the challenge was a, a little bit more work intensive than some of the other days, but I think that once you do it, you're going to be so glad that you've done it. It feels really good to know that you're using up the food that you already have in your house and uh, that you've got a plan for the month or at least for a couple of weeks. Um, and that you're being able to put uh, good foods aside in the freezer that you can use as quick convenience foods and know that you're still uh, serving your family real food. So um, so your challenge for the rest of the week is just to finish up the things that I've been showing you in this video today and then I'll see you on Monday and Tuesday. We're going to do some freezer cooking and baking and uh, that's going to be exciting. So uh, I will see you there. Good job.